What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the groups from the admin section for our app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the groups from our admin section. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books. Runtime fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. And I know I said I was going to remove those coupon codes at the beginning of the year, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I was going to raise the price of membership up to $300. I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of days. I just got sort of overloaded with end of the year stuff and I haven't got to it yet. So for the next day or two, you can still take advantage of that $49 price. Then it shoots up to $298. So take advantage of that now while you still can. Okay, like I said yesterday, I'm still sort of moving into the new office space. We're getting the studios set up and lighting and sound and everything. So this video is going to be kind of short because you know, I'm just sort of dialing in sound and stuff and I'm still tweaking things. So this video may look a little off or it may look fine. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, but uh, like I said, it's going to be a short video. So what we're going to do here is remove this group section from our admin page. And you can see I've just logged into our admin section and we see these groups here and there's nothing listed. We're not actually using groups in this project. We may in the future just to sort of show you how to use them. But for now, we're not using them. And this thing is still sitting here. Like when we click on users, it's got all of our users. That's cool. We click on groups, there's nothing there. So maybe you want to get rid of this whole little groups thing. That's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And it's super quick and super easy. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So in order to tweak our admin section, we need to go to our admin.py file. And that's in events. And we come down here and here it is admin.py. And we've done stuff in here before we've removed things and added things and, and done all kinds of stuff. And you can see right at the beginning here, we are registering our my club user model, right? And if we go to our models.py file, that's this thing right here, right? So we can register, we can also unregister things. So super easy, we just come in here. And let's say remove groups. And we're just going to go admin.site.unregister and then just pass in group. Now, you might be tempted to go groups because over here it's listed as groups, but nope, it's singular group. Now, that doesn't quite work because group is a function of the authentication system, right? We've got our Django authentication system that we set up many videos ago. So in order to register and unregister things from the authentication system, we need to import that. So let's come up here and let's go from Django.contrib.auth.models. We want to import group. And that's it. Go ahead and save this. Head back over here and hit reload. Boom, groups disappears. Just that easy. Now, why would you want to do this? I don't know. Probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's just sort of interesting. And I thought you guys might want to know about it in case you do need to remove it for whatever reason. Of course, we can add it back in super easy. We just come back here and comment out this line, save this, add back over here. Boom, it's back, right? So like I said, we may do stuff with groups in the future. Groups basically allow you to sort of associate certain users in groups. So if you wanted to sort of designate a certain group of users to be able to, for instance, edit pages, you could add them to a group. If you wanted to create a group that you could then send emails to, you could create a group. And if you want to know about it, like I said, we'll probably talk about it in the future. You can go to the Django documentation, docs.djangoproject.com slash en slash 4.0 slash topics slash auth slash default. This is the page using the Django authentication system. Just scroll down a little bit and you come to groups and you can learn all about them. Like I said, we'll probably play around with these in the future, but not today. This is going to be a short video and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So let's come back here. Let's one last time take that off, save this, come back, reload, groups are gone, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 for a couple more days to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.